last night at about 1 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep and that skunky smell started really strong for about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. So, that was interesting. It's Tuesday, July 2nd. <clears throat> And, of course, this morning I checked everything, and nothing was different this morning that I saw. So I just came out to check again, checked this stuff. I was a little disappointed because nothing had happened. Then I walked over here, and I am so excited about what they put here beside the basketball. It is a little tiny basketball. That is freaking awesome. How cool is that? It's got the lines on it just like... Boy, I bet you they are excited to find that. It's Friday, July 5th, and it's about 6.52 a.m., and when I first got up, we were smelling the little skunky smell, so I decided to come out right away. This was, you know, at about, I don't know, 6 o'clock. Actually, when I first got up, Jim had been up, but anyhow, I came out and checked things, and I walked all the way around the house. I found a possible glyph on the other side of the house and right here, but when I got back around I noticed this piece of bark laying here on the walk and whenever I walked around the first time I didn't notice it. It doesn't mean it wasn't here. I was really sleepy, but I didn't notice it, and they've been doing stuff with bark, and that is a really pretty piece of bark, and it's not real, I don't see the trees there, but I suppose it could have fallen, but I don't know, this might be from them, especially since I didn't see it on my first round, and when I get back here, there it is, so just interesting I'm not sure but and then like I said I noticed this which could be nothing but it caught my attention how curves around each one of them exactly the same and then the, the glyph possible glyph that I found on the other side of the house I'll show you that okay this is the possible glyph and it's right beside the swing. And what caught my attention is this stick. They've been using sticks that look like little, like a deer almost, or an animal. See, it's got, that would be the leg and the body's body. Legs and body. This was like antlers. <laughs> And then whatever this is, I don't know. But look, it's look at the angle of that. And then there's a leaf right there. So I don't know for sure that this is a glyph. But it looks pretty interesting to me. And then you got these two clover little things growing. You know, it almost looks placed, so anyhow, interesting. It's Saturday, July 6th, and it's 7.30 a.m., and it looks like maybe they were up because First of all, well, this thing right here intrigues me the most. 
because yesterday the little triangle was over here and now it is exactly right up against the star and also this um, thing what to call it was on the ground and this is the first time that they have been up to the porch if it was them since we've done all this work in the backyard so this has really got me intrigued that just seems too purposeful to be an accident you know like a little animal moved it or something and just the middle one of those is on the ground now other than that I see nothing so far I haven't been around the house yet you know what I just realized looking at this possible glyph this stick has been really intriguing me since I found it and you know what it looks like it looks like a, a rifle and that looks like a deer could just be my imagination the whole thing but that's quite a coincidence This is in the corner of the house. Right there's the Y stick that they poked through the hosta leaf. Right there. But this is probably natural, but just wanted to record it. Because it's like a trident type thing except it has that one little hook right here going around the stem and then this one is perfectly balanced against that stem Now, like I said, that could be natural and a coincidence, but again, it's just so odd. Nature can be odd sometimes, though. But anyhow, I just wanted to record it. That's the coolest thing ever, just about right there. <laughs> oh. Okay, I gotta finish my rounds. It's Sunday, July 7th, and it's 7.22 a.m. Okay, there's something in my chair on the front porch. And as you notice, there's been changes here too. We put cushions on the chairs and on the swing. And also painted the swing, moved some things around. The first thing that's been on my chair since that happened, since we made the changes. And okay, if this was, you know, on my chair and not exactly in the middle and laid out like this, I probably wouldn't think it was from them, but it is. A, exactly in the middle and it's laid out perfectly because there's there's three of these um, what do you call it helicopters or whatever and there's three leaves and look how they're laid out so beautifully and I see a stick underneath I haven't looked at that yet but I want to tell you before I move it that 
yesterday somewhere in the yard or something I saw something very similar to that and thought that's cool and I don't remember where I saw it or anything but I know I did and now here it is I don't know it's the same exact one but here it is in my chair Let's see a little tiny stick let's well, see that didn't just happen no way this was placed here I have no idea what the little stick means I'm so, I'm kind of blown away by this, especially since they haven't been coming up on the porch in a long time. That is just incredible and beautiful. Like I said, if it wasn't placed so perfectly, I might not have attributed it, attributed it to them. But that's too much of a coincidence. Now I'm going to go look around the rest of the yard. I haven't looked at anything else yet. I wonder if this has anything to do with the flowers that we put here because it kind of resembles a flower. And the little stick could be a stem, but anyhow, just, I don't know. But keeping this for sure. Okay, so I just started looking around a little bit. And in the bush, right beside our chairs on the porch, see? Is a stick laying completely horizontal and pointing at our chairs our chair area on the porch coincidence that there was a gift on my chair too this morning now it's possible that's natural, but I think it's um, worthy of being um, documented at least. Here it is from off the porch. It's Tuesday, July 9th, 7.34 a.m. And Jim texted me this morning that on his way to the, his truck, when he was going to work, he said he got about halfway to the truck and he heard from right up there in those trees the softest, prettiest woo, which is very cool. And then, I went out the back porch to check things, didn't see anything, I was making my way around here, and look what's on the garbage can. Perfectly balanced, right in the middle, not rolling off, a very big marble. How cool is that? This is how I saw it when I walked up. It's like, <gasps> that was my reaction.
That is so awesome. So that is a new marble, a new gift. And very cool and pretty. They've never given me a big marble like that. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to get off and tell them thank you. I was just telling them thank you and seeing how cool it was that they put it here and like how did you keep it from rolling and stuff and there's a little tiny hole in the plastic and that's where they had it. Oh my god. <laughs> how awesome is that? They are so smart. Wow. Just when you think they're not going to blow your mind anymore. They keep doing it. Okay, I was just walking around the garden looking at it and saw this thing here. What in the world is that? Looks like the head of a snake. Jim says it was not here last night. Okay, because he was in the garden checking things out. I'm going to have to go get a stick turn it over. Okay, it's a toy plastic snake. <laughs> oh my god, where did that come from? It's the head of a toy plastic snake. Hmm. I have to see if Jim knows anything about it. But it's on top of the ground. See? Oh, it's turned over. Here. And, like, it rained really hard and stuff, so you'd think. Plus, he just, he plowed over, I mean he tilt the dirt up and stuff. He says he knows it wasn't here last night. So how did it get here? Hmm. Very, very strange. I just noticed There, I just noticed this little divot in the ground that's shaped just like the uh, head of the snake. Fits perfectly. And there's little fissures in the dirt around it, like, hmm. Okay. Friday, July 12th, 12.43 <clears throat> p.m. And I checked everything this morning. Didn't see anything. And I came out here for some reason. I don't remember why. But when I started to go back in, I noticed <clears throat> in the middle of the mat in front of the door, rock. And it's pretty much in the center and it's too big to have been on somebody's shoe and it's also right in the middle oh and it's got grass stuck to it which is super interesting and I'll tell you why because last night it was getting close to it was between, let me see, it would be about between 7 30 and 8. I went outside in the back and I was cleaning up 
around the new walkway and this bird's nests that were back there. I cleaned them out because they just pretty much disintegrated. It was just like grass laying there. And these rocks that I'd put in them to weigh them down, I picked them up and I was cleaning everything up. I picked a bunch of rocks up out of the walkway and stuff, just, just tidying up. And the ones that were weighing down the, the nests, I picked them all up and threw them over to the side of the yard over there. And I can almost bet you that this was one of them. Because that's about the size I used, especially for the little tiny ones. So, is this a gift? Or are they telling me something? I'm not sure. But it didn't get in the middle of the placemat. Or <laughs> it didn't get in the middle of the mat by itself. It's too big to have stuck to somebody's shoe and have the grass stuck to it like that. So, there's that. Next, there's more about the back, but I'm going to go back there in a minute. I was sitting here talking to Jim and looked up here and noticed fingerprints, handprints, all up and down that window. And there's one way up high, but those are not from us. So I'm thinking that they are coming up and looking in the window. And the one is clear up there. I don't know if you can see it from here. But it's sideways. It's like the hand went like this. So it was tall enough that whatever it was could lean against there and put its hand so it was a big one so <laughs> they're uh, coming up here for sure now I'll try to get pictures of this or something because I don't think it's showing very well right there you can see four fingers one two three four and up above it you have to get just the right angle you can see them splayed out like this I hope this picks it up it all down there and here you can even see a palm fingers here but they start at about Three, three and a half, wait, no, one, two, three and a half to four feet, I would say. And you go all the way up. And, pardon how dirty the window is out here. I need to clean the front porch. If you look at the other window by the swing, there's some there too. And they go clear up. There's a few here, but they're mostly on this window. There's no way. 
that that could have been me or Jim. That is, that's just way too high. And we don't, like, come over here and put our hands against the window all the time. <laughs> okay, so... Let's go to the back. I'm kind of wondering if they watched me picking up rocks and, like, collecting them. You know, like I did the sticks in the last diary. And then I found sticks the next day all over the yard. And so I'm wondering if when I was tidying up and picking up rocks, and I picked the ones up out of there, are they giving me a rock because they think I was, you know, collecting them? Or are they telling me that that was one of the rocks that was in the nest and maybe they didn't want me to throw it away? And the walnut that was in here that I found up in the driveway. Well, actually, it's been everywhere. It's been out. It's been in. It's been. It's like one time I found it partway, or I had put it here, and I found it inside. So I thought maybe they put it there. But it's been all around. I don't know if one of the squirrels or chipmunks was moving it. But anyhow, it's been here, and last night, when I was tidying up, I picked it up and put it in the circle, and I don't see it anywhere. It's gone. So either they did something with it, or the squirrel or chipmunk finally took it away, I guess. So, anyhow, the rocks I was picking up and weeding and stuff like that and I threw them over here had like two to three buckets of stuff and I threw them over here and you can see some of the small ones about the size of the one that I found on the rug it's right back there And I moved the stuff from the railing back over here because they're not doing anything at the, at the porch, at the railing. So I decided to try this again. And I made new Bigfoot dolls. And this time they are, they're baked. I sculpted them with clay that you have to bake. And then I painted them to try to seal the water out. Because the last ones I made, I didn't paint and they disintegrated. But that was self-hardening clay. So this is a different clay and I painted them and they're holding up pretty good. Now, nothing has happened here. But I, I moved it... What day was that? yesterday. Moved it over here yesterday. So we may have a fire tonight. Burn that stuff. And see what happens. Okay, the one at the top, I can see it really good now. Because I'm standing up on the chair. It's that high. other ones I don't know if we'll see as good because I'm up but that one you can see I'm gonna switch hands here that whatever it will well, no, be this hand it's a left hand and his hand went like that I guess they're liking to look in this window. OK, 
can't believe how high that one is up there. trying to see if my fingers would leave you know anything and they're not so whatever that is has really oily fingers it's not human Okay, it's Sunday, July 14th, and 8.04 a.m., and we just spent the last about half hour looking for Jim's truck keys. Yesterday he mowed, and he always moves the truck over here, and mows, and then he moved it back. Well, when he did that he left the windows down and he left the windows down and continued mowing so after that we went away and he forgot to get the keys out of the truck so came out this morning because it's supposed to rain and his windows were down and he couldn't find his keys anywhere so, we just spent the last half hour looking for his keys and was in a panic. Couldn't find him. Jim went all over his truck. And we looked everywhere. Well, this pink ball that went missing way back, like, I don't know, a month or so ago. 
and it's open and I see that little blue elephant in there that's been sitting here so <clears throat> I haven't opened it yet but I don't think the pink ball nope the pink ball that was in it is gone <laughs> so I think they took the ball out and put that in so we'll see if the pink ball comes back. It was at the end of May. And we found it in here. Under that, in the door. Okay. We left it there to see what they would do with it. Well, when I was searching for Jim's keys, I looked in there and it was gone. So finally, Jim, I guess he forgot to look in that door thingy over there. And when he did, he, he opened the door, looked in there, and his keys were in there. Thank God. And so is this ball. So apparently they moved that from over here to over there and put the keys in the little cubby hole on the door. So... That was interesting and scary. I was asking him to bring him back and everything. <laughs> oh, Lord in heaven. This has not been a good morning. <laughs> okay. It's Monday, July 15th, 607. AM and just got up and I'm checking everything out. I got to the grill and we grilled some steaks yesterday for lunch on the side of the grill and now there's a stick laying inside of it. See Jim? Mm hmm Stick. Hmm. Wasn't there yesterday I checked it cooked on it yeah after that I checked it there was no stick in there so that got in there since last night so they haven't put anything in the grill in a long time so that's cool <laughs> and the fact that they put it on the side that we grilled on is pretty awesome I'm gonna take it Take it with me. Sweet. It's pretty this morning. It's not a quite a Y stick, but almost. Which actually makes sense because it seems like Y sticks have something to do with people. This seems to have something more to do with food. Just an observation. Okay, it's now 2.22 and I went to work. I came home. I've been inside for a while. I didn't check the grill. I checked other stuff. But I thought I would come out and check the grill. And when I opened it, I noticed another stick and grass or something. And there's some stuck here on the side. Now, it wasn't in here this morning. So either the Bigfoots did this while I was gone. Sorry. Or there's a mouse. Look, there's some down in there, too. A mouse or a bird or something bringing stuff in. The birds carry sticks. Hmm. Weird. and sticks hmm. well I'm 
and keep an eye on it. Let's see. Okay. I don't know. Just what if an, like an animal or a bird would be doing it? I don't know. 